Sable man in Bennington paid a lot of money for a bathroom remodeling project to make life easier at home. Two months later and nothing's been done. So a sheriff's report has been filed against the contractor and Mike McKnight found out it's not the first one. Most of them are inflammatories. Medication isn't enough to ease his pain. I my joints, my muscles. Um, like I said, the migraines, I'm sorry I have to put them on, but the light from the camera is going to trigger my migraines. Hoping a jet tub will help, Manuel Gallegos and wife Tammy checked Home Depot last November, where a contractor approached the couple. He stated he contracts for Home Depot. Home Depot tells me Jose Juarez was a subcontractor, but no longer an authorized service provider for Home Depot when he approached the Gallegos. Not knowing that, Manuel wrote Juarez a check for $4,700 to buy a jet tub and materials to remodel the bathroom. And he never sent receipts. He kept saying, oh, yeah, I'll send them to you right now, right now. And excuse after excuse. One reason why the contractor was able to keep the couple in the dark is because Manuel has to do everything in the dark. He keeps the shades drawn throughout the house because of his severe migraines. Another customer, Ivasto Perez, told a similar story to a Douglas County Sheriff's investigator. The deputy's affidavit led to a theft by deception charge against Jose Juarez Banos, the same contractor. At first, my dad gave him a check like up front to get the job going, and then he said he spilled coffee into it. And so my dad wrote him another check, unknowingly not retrieving the other check. And then he cashed both the checks in, and then he wanted to get a third one out of it. And then my dad got a little suspicious. Back at Manuel's home, that therapeutic tub that he paid for and hasn't been installed is needed. Oh, yes, my legs are in pain right now. His wife, Tammy, is sore at the contractor. <sighs> angers me that somebody would take advantage of somebody that is in need of help and that you have asked to help you and they take advantage of you. Contractor Jose Juarez Banos promised a refund and texted me that he has sent a check, though the Gallegos have yet to receive it. I'm hoping that he would be an honest person and, and refund our money. Manuel filed a sheriff's report because he refuses to take the potential money loss lying down. On your side near Bennington, Mike McKnight, 6 News. All authorized contractors for Home Depot go through background checks. And the company tells us Jose Juarez dropped off the list of authorized contractors before the allegations of fraud surfaced. He declined an interview and so far no reply from his attorney.